So it looks like I may have missed scanning something when we introduced the pull-offs. But I think I remember how we started it, so I'm going to start with that. So we did the pull-offs, we were using the A minor pentatonic scale coming down, and I talked about, like, you're doing the 8, picking the 8 and pulling off to the 5, you want to make sure that 5 is held down before you do the pull-off, so this way you have something to pull off too. So you pick the 8, pull off to the 5, do that twice, just work your way down the scale, I believe that was the very first thing that we did. Uh, I just didn't grab that. We had like basically four pages of stuff. So anyway, continuing on, the top of uh, the next page, this is the first riff that we have. Next riff. We talked about vibrato stuff to where you kind of do that. Uh, on the high E string, I usually just kind of move my finger left and right a bit, and that produces a vibrato sound. You can also bend it up a little bit, but I've just been doing that for years, so I just kind of wiggle it left and right there. Okay, the next riff, third one on the page, we have... Now we're going up the A minor pentatonic again, but we're going to do hammer on followed by a pull off. So we pick the 5, hammer to 8, keep both fingers down, we pick the 8, pull off to the 5. Do that twice for each string. to the five. So we have pick, hammer on, pull off. And we're going to work the entire A minor pentatonic scale going down. Everything's done twice. So we got pick, hammer, pull. Pick, hammer, pull. It. We start by picking and then we pull off to a hammer on. Do that twice each string, go up the scale. Make sure whatever you're pulling off to is already down. Alright, now for the complicated stuff. So here is next thing we did. to some more chords, we added another finger. So we have the first, third, and fourth finger building these chords. And we 
introduced the repeat sign. That's what the double dots mean at the end of each progression. So let's just go ahead and run through those. So here's the first one. We got A5, G5, F5, G5. Repeat A5, G5, F5, G5. Next progression. D5, C5, D5, C5. A5, F5, C5, G5, A5, F5, C5, G5. And the last page is material. Yes, the open E5 chord. I suggested uh, barring the E5 with your index finger. That's a good good technique to learn. So here we go. E5, F5, G5, A5, E5, F5, G5, A5. And the next progression, A5, G5, E5, F5, A5. G5, E5, F5, and the last one, the long one, F5, C5, B5, G5, A5, E5, D5, C5, F5, C5, B5, G5. A5, E5, D5, C5, and that is that. So hopefully this video helps out. If you have any questions before next class, let me know, and I will see you on Thursday.